Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a Nika haul. I got some stuff from Nika, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. But before we get into the video, I would like to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my videos and you like my content. And yeah, if you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. That's all I'm saying. Also, if you enjoy the video and watch it till the end and it benefits you in some way. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps me reach more people. So yeah, let's just get into the video. Starting off with the seriously satin lipstick from Elf Cosmetics. I got this one for free for shopping two or three products from Elf. This comes in a transparent packaging, which I absolutely love. The cut of the lipstick makes it very easy to apply, and there's a lot of product in it as well. And the consistency is a creamy matte, which makes it very soft, smooth, and comfortable on the lips. The pigmentation is really good as well, so it's a 10 on 10 for me. Next up is this highlighter from Elf Cosmetics. I got this one free as well. I literally just bought the foundation and the concealer and got the highlighter and the lipstick for free. There was some deal going on. Look at how cute the packaging is. The quality is very good. It shines and shimmers amazingly, but the particles are not large glitter particles. They are powder and are of good quality. However, it's a little hard to pick it up using a brush, but if you use your fingers, you'll get a lot of product in it. Next up is the 16-hour camo concealer from Elf Cosmetics again. I absolutely adore the packaging. I got it in the shade medium sand and like you can see in the screenshot, the color appears to be darker than the color that I've got. I got a very light shade even though I can make it work. I really wanted something that was closer to my skin tone and I really wanted to use it as a concealer and not like a concealer come highlighter. Coming to the quality, the quality of it is really good. It's a full coverage concealer. It blends really well, but since it's a shade lighter than my roll shade, I have to really work with it. Next up is the Elf Flawless Satin Foundation. The packaging is extremely luxurious. It's a oil-free medium coverage foundation and I got mine in a neutral undertone. The shade that I got is a sand and it's a medium skin tone. It fits me perfectly. Even though I now think I should have got one with a yellow undertone, I think that would fit my skin tone better. This foundation has to be one of my most favorite. It is so comfortable on the skin and the shades are really good as well. This foundation has to be one of the most affordable foundations in Indian market. Also, it fits brown skin tones very well. The shade range is very good as well. Like you can see, it blends amazingly even using your finger. I'd have to say it's totally worth the money. Next up is the Nika Paint Stick Matte Lipstick. The packaging of this one is super cute. If you have multiples of this range, you can understand the shade from the cap. Look at how cute the packaging is. Also, how amazing is the shape of the lipstick? It makes application amazing. Even though this lipstick is a matte lipstick, it's very comfortable on the lips. It's not drying at all. I love the shade. It's an orangish nude shade. Great for everyday wear. Next up is the Nika Black Magic Kajal. It's a very affordable kajal and the quality is just amazing. It blends like a dream. It's super soft and creamy. It's very comfortable. Your eyes won't itch at all. And also there's enough of quantity in it. The color is deep black. A little goes a long way. You can use it as a liner, as a normal kajal or even use it to create smoky eyes. Next up is a mini liquid matte lipstick from Sugar Cosmetics. I have to tell you guys, I hate the lipsticks from this range. They are super matte, super drying to the point where it becomes uncomfortable. They break, they turn into powder, they fall off. Everything that you can think of happens to them. They are just like those 100, 150 rupees fake lipsticks that you get from Instagram stores. I love everything from Sugar Cosmetics except for this one. Next up is this lip balm from Sugar Cosmetics again. It smells super amazing. It feels amazing on the lip. However, it does not last very long. 
and you have to actually apply it quite a few times in quite a few layers for it to work however i would say it's a good lip balm i absolutely love the packaging the way it feels the way it looks all right for the price Next up is this lip scrub from Sugar Cosmetics again. This is from their coffee range and how luxurious is the packaging. It's in black metal and has the words written on it in gold and I absolutely adore it. It comes in a lipstick shape, however, mine fell and broke, my fault entirely. It's got these coffee particles in it that are supposed to act as the scrub. Also, it has a bit of a lip butter, which makes the application very smooth. It's really good on your lips. It actually does the job of removing dead skin cells from your lips. And not just that, if you have dry, scraped, lips it will remove that dry layer from it as well next up is the prolixers vitamin c serum it comes in a glass bottle with a dropper just how i like my serums and it's actually really good vitamin c is an incredible antioxidant it has anti-inflammatory properties which helps if you have acne it also helps improve your skin tone and texture hydrates your skin and reduces signs of aging and it also helps protect your skin against sun exposure and it also is a natural moisturizer next up is the salicylic acid from Prolix. next up is prolixer's salicylic acid this one has two percent of salicylic acid in it and it's perfect if you have acne prone skin this comes in a glass bottle with a dropper as well salicylic acid helps unclog blocked pores it breaks down oils such as the sebum from your dead skin cells and decreases the skin's sebum production which results in fewer acne. However, if I know anything about skincare, I know that I do not like skincare that has any kind of smell in it. So these two are not something I'm going to be buying again. So guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and benefited from it. I'll see you guys in my next. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.